looking for a brighter season. Yeah. Need to lay your burden down. <laughs> hey, day, you drowning in a helpless feeling. Young blood sucker. Buried under deeper ground. Uh. Yeah. Dave, we're back on a somber note. We've returned to this special podcast. Hopefully, many more. But we're back. We got the boy Andy here. Hey, it's nice to be here. And you know who it is. Hey, Space Cowboys. <laughs> and we're just gonna kick it off with the the sad tragedy that happened a few days ago. Our main man X. XX Tentacion. X has passed. Yeah, was murdered in cold blood in his vehicle. And gonna, outside you know, of a. Outside, outside of the a, Harley dealership. Outside of a sports dealership, he was going to buy a, like, a sports bike or a motorcycle of some kind. And, uh. Open window, gun down. And everybody already. We already have the people talking. About, oh, it's a conspiracy. Look at the video. Because people shot terrible videos of his lifeless body. And they're like, oh, look, you can't see the tree tattoo. You can't see the, you can't see this tattoo. He's not, that's not him. And it's, that's, that's just dumb. Like, uh, very disrespectful. I don't know. I, I didn't perform the autopsy, okay? So who yeah, am I, I to say do that he's dead? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not no ace detective. It's like, I didn't knows. see the dead body. It's like, who knows? But, I mean, it's really not the time. Right. Yeah, really. Like, right now, I mean, like, gotta be a, a conspiracy of the highest sorts to show your respect. And, and we the, can't even get into the other half of Twitter that's yeah. fucking... Just bashing him. Oh, my God. I, a dead man. Okay, so yeah, I want to... I, I want to person- pretty oh, easy to do that pretty low okay i want to personally but, tell i want to personally tell a story about an interaction that i had on twitter with someone so it started off and i had uh i had tweeted because i was seeing a lot of tweets about people talking about oh you can't feel sorry for x because he had so many victims and this is like clarity for his victims you know finally and uh you know like shit like that and uh i tweeted Rape apologists. Uh, he was a monster, like, ironically. And I said, shut the fuck up. And then I was also talking to somebody when I, uh, and they were talking about how X doesn't deserve, uh, like, sympathy. And I was like, you're worse than anything that you could say X did just for saying that. But back to the original topic, the, the actual altercation. So this, after I had tweeted those two things, this girl who is a person that believes in, like, Oh, he was a bad person, like, you know, I'm not going to say any, like, archetypal names, but I'm sure you could think of one. And, uh, she was like, people, okay, not people, but she was like, rapists, murderers, abusers, and, and then this last one really got me. All around bad people, which is like 80% of the goddamn planet. Yeah, and really. And so, and... <laughs> And so subjective, like, honestly, that's but, a, that's just a big box. but, 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 I know, but she said, uh, rapists, abusers, all around bad people don't deserve to be mourned. Mm, that's kind of fucked. That's, I mean, that's... here's what I'll say. Everybody has their demons. No one is perfect by no means, be it whatever they've done, but here's what you got here's how i look at it you gotta you you don't forget what they did but you have to forgive or at least try to and you have to recognize the person that he was moving on to be and all the steps he was taking in his life to become a better person for his image and for his fans um i don't know to say that someone doesn't deserve to be mourned that's a little far so i uh, does his mom not deserve to mourn her son's death so I had uh, I had come back at her and said, 
This was very petty of me, I, I, I understand, but I'd come back at her and I'd said, you really, really, really got to make a statement, huh? And uh, she responded by saying, what, are you upset that I have a different opinion in you? And I tried not to get uh, super upset, but I said, no, I'm upset you think it's okay to accept that this person hasn't received sympathy, literally just you saying he doesn't deserve sympathy and makes you worse than him. Downright. Downright. I don't know. It it lowers whoever that was, I think. Like you're like if you're on your high horse, you just fucking hopped off into like the shit eater. Exactly. Like, like, the, like a lot of people are right, on on Twitter like like this, you know, maybe some local people I know or you know, or just uh maybe someone really big, right? That's always been a very uh social activist, you know. SJW if you want to say that, you know, you know, you, you want to go that hard on them, you know. <laughs> but they've always been people that have always, you know, really get pissed at everyone if they ever say anything about anything, but they really showed their true colors the other day. A lot of people really did. They showed what they're really about. That, <laughs> that a man died and they bashed him. Okay, okay, for reference, I would just like to point out, uh, I'm sure you've probably seen it all over Twitter. But it's a very valid point. If Malcolm X had died when he was, I don't know, 20? 20. 20? Yeah, yeah, X was 20, yeah. If, Ma- if Malcolm X would have died when he was 20, he would have died an addict, a rapist, or I don't know if a, a rapist, actually. I, I, I Strike me on that. Uh, an addict, uh, an all-around depressed person. He was an abuser. He totally beat his girlfriend. Uh, and he was, like, like, in jail, like, you know, a deadbeat, and now everyone looks at him like a visionary. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, not to say, not to say, not to write off what X did or might might have done. I wasn't there. Uh, not to write off what he did or didn't do, like as just being like, oh, he was young, but he was a kid. He was a yeah, kid. That I agree with you. Andy. Here's the here's the biggest thing about all the you know the the abuse thing, right? They were purely allegations. Allegations. Yeah, like it turned out that she wasn't even pregnant. Who's she to wasn't say even that pregnant? Ex actually it. beat her. Like, how am I? Was I there? Exactly. Was I the cop that showed up on the scene? She had a GoFundMe page for a bunch of plastic surgery and shit to re like repair her face from her beatings or whatever, and she never had those surgeries. That's documented. She never had those surgeries. very upset with the people that were you know happy that he died obviously she she even came out on twitter i think and she was like (coughs) she was like um all of the all of the people putting words in my mouth and saying oh i bet this woman is finally so relieved like you need to stop being fans of uh like me or you know you need to stop supporting like my cause like i'm sad as fuck like like he like she said um he's not here i'm still here and that's permanent how the fuck do you think that makes me feel why would that make me feel happy like because whether that shit happened or not and she just wanted some clout wanted some money and wanted to scam x whatever whether whether it happened or not she loved him she had feelings for him because she was with him for however long so obviously she feels some type of way about his death it's not it's like it's it's absurd. It's absurd to say that. It's just the the way society is now. It's, there's just no empathy in this world anymore. Yeah. Or, Squandered. Yeah, it's, it's ruined. It's crazy. Twitter's a terrible place, honestly. You know? Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I for the most part, I try and stay off of it. Like, I love but Twitter. I do get on it a lot. There's, there's just a handful of, you know, the boys that, you know. You, yeah. James, K. Dwight, your Wentz, your... Oh, yeah. You know, and let's get into Big Tan. Uh, we got Big... Oh, about X, right? This is still X. Big Tan and but uh, Mind Fire Wild Out. Big Tan. He was a big fan of X early on. Like in 2017 when he was Right, got when he was popping. Big fan of him. But then, Big Tan got this, got this, got this little girlfriend, right? <laughs> and she's very much a social activist. She works at, like, Super Deluxe and 
they kind of suck. But um, <laughs> anyway, she hated X, right? She was she, she's one of the big leaders of the whole fuck X X and Tassian thing, you know, on Twitter. And well, once he got this girlfriend right, his opinion completely changed about him, right? It's like shit, you know. And bird ever since move. then, yeah, yeah, ever since then. <laughs> A real bird move, right? Out of someone you wouldn't expect. Yeah, to make it. someone you respect. Yeah, but here's the here's the here's the real kicker, right? One of his best friends, or a really good friend of his, young bands, has like going to trial for murder. He's on trial for murder. He's been on house arrest like, for two years. Like, he likes take a. He's like eighteen. Murder. He's like eight. Young band's like eighteen, and he's got um pretty sure a double homicide. But like, X. Uh, and that's okay. Hey, that's okay. That's street shit. That's, that's yeah, fine. That's where we draw the line. That's for the numbers. That's street shit. That's yeah. hard. Oh wow, young bands has a double homicide. Damn, he must be on some real street shit. Oh, XXX and Tassion beat his pregnant girlfriend. That motherfucker's a fucking, fucking rapist. That motherfucker's a. Dude, yeah, shut like, up. Like, I love Big Ten. Yeah, really. Where do you, where do they draw the line? <laughs> but just to just clarify, I love young bands. Yeah, young bands is hard. Yeah, I, I was just about to say I'm I'm also a victim like, to it because young like, bands is hard. Young bands got volume five coming out, and he and he, he has his face painted like David Bowie for the cover. Oh my god! Oh, like Aladdin, sane. Isn't that hard? Like, yeah, you can't the hard really just went well. through the roof. You can't really tell that because he's black, but I mean, if you look close, you're just like, shit, that's It's awful. hard. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, like, like it, it's all about the thought, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we love Young Bands. We love X. And really, we haven't even talked, we've just been, you know, spewing about the bullshit, you know? We haven't really touched on everything he did. He... He fucking connected so many people. He, like, that members-only crew got so big. And I'm not saying just because of X, obviously. I'm saying they're all talented. But that crew coming up, how they did, in Florida, doing what they were doing, that's like the, like, us, I mean, I, I love you, Bones. Don't curse me when I say this. But that's like the blueprint for the underground. That's a big movement, like, there are kids, like, there are countless videos of kids fucking talking to X, like, you literally saved myself from killing myself, like, 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 he obviously has an influence on however many goddamn monthly million, uh, monthly listeners he has, monthly millions of listeners he has. I mean, yeah, yeah. his SoundCloud is huge, like, it, like, it's nearly three million followers. Wow. Three million followers on a SoundCloud account is really big. Something you, th- you said about old, you know, Bones, you know, Bones, Wolf, you know, Chris Travis, you know, Eddie Baker, they they really started the SoundCloud shit, right? Right. But X, you know, you know, mainly just X. I I would say Ski, but really just X. They're the ones that blew up. You know, they started the the you know like the big SoundCloud phenomenon that is. Like yeah, they today. they picked up the torch. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a, uh, and above anything, dude, he was just a, another one of the youth, another fucking up and coming successful black youth. Like, why, why, when someone who I guarantee that motherfucker has probably had the worst life, worst life, I guarantee when he was a kid, he was living in fucking broken homes, crack, cr- fuck, like, I don't know. I don't know his story. I'm sure. You watch his No Jumper days. That was was a rough childhood. He has a rough ass childhood. Like, he was always getting in fights. He's always in, like, juvenile detention centers. He went to, like, prison. That's how he met Ski. Like, he's had a rough ass life, dude. Like, I know that, like, doesn't account for, like, oh, he's a fucking god. Like, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Joe Budden said it best in this video, that video Sam showed me. (sighs) Rap accepts all. Rap accepts all. Like, and all doesn't mean good. He even yeah. said that too. All doesn't mean good, but rap accepts all. Uh, Joe Budden video will be in the link. It's 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 pretty good. 
you go, yeah yeah for real like Wa- you gotta Biden watch blows uh paste huge picture of joe Budden on the screen now <laughs> he uh, dude paste g- uh giant picture of peter rosenberg on the screen while uh you know he's murking him because that video is just hilarious it's just joe Budden, like 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 joe Budden's like he said he's go- he said he was going easy on him. Yeah, yeah. Like Joe Budden's got like a full podcast, you know, like three guys he does it with. And he's like, he's like, you guys can jump in whenever you want. He's like, he's like, whoa, hold up, don't jump in. I'm about to kill Pete Rosenberg. <laughs> and like he just like like it's it's pretty light. He says what he said, but I mean he was like he was pissed at him. Shit. Sure. Do you do you, do you, do you want to touch from... up? Do you want to touch up on the Peter Rosenberg thing? Can we touch up on him, Sam? I mean, they can still I watch mean... them. Or do you want them to watch the video? Yeah, I'll, to, I'll have to indulge in, in that later. Well, it's about X. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. But, I mean, I want to talk about X's, you know, just everything that was done, you know. I mean, yeah, like, let's talk about, okay, let's talk about when 17 came out. Let's talk about when 17 came out. And it was a really weird album release because everybody was like, it was really mixed reviews, I would say. It's really mixed reviews, but I mean, it's, I fucking love it. I fucking uh, love it, dude. I love that shit. I don't know, I got into X with all, like, the... Like the anime, like uh, fight scenes. With oh my like god, the, the AMVs with like <laughs> yeah. XXX on a kill streak. Yeah, like that's, uh, the, that's that shit, shit too. Was yeah, hard. dude. I, was, I uh I love it when they run. Is that what it's called yeah. with bands? Yeah, that song, see. dude. That that song has the sickest AMV and like uh, shit like that started that you know underground that, you wave. Know that AMV, cause, cause, cause we would talk about it for a song like this is the craziest anime shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I was telling old old Andy on it, uh, about it the way here. You remember back when we used to get we used to get to school early, like ten minutes before, uh-huh. and, and you'd get in the Impala with me, <laughs> and we'd just be bumping X loud because people like you know nobody ever heard anything like that before. Like you know we hadn't heard anything like that before. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, man. Then yeah, we'd, uh, uh, pack up and then take our business inside. Yeah. The night after, the night after it happened, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, it was the morning. It was it was early morning the day it happened. Like the next day, it was like two or three in the morning that day, and uh, I decided that I was gonna give X a little, a little tribute to remember him. So I tattooed a little X on my, on my thigh because long live X. He's a, he's a legend. You know, energy doesn't die. I'd like. I've always thought that he was such a, I know it sounds cliche, but like honestly thought he was such a visionary, like his music's so different. Yeah, like, like, yeah I don't know, like, there's so many different, to X talk, he, I don't he's know, he's a like, very, yeah, yeah. he's a smart person. Yeah, like, a lot of intellect. He's a really interesting guy. Like, very interesting. Like, like, if you haven't seen the, the X No Jones. Oh my God. It's, it's like right up there with the Suicide Boys one. So good. It's amazing. I think I've seen it, to be honest. Like, and like, I'm gonna go home and about, rewatch it. Talk about like the cast in that, right? Like, like X, Ski, Why Wi-Fi, 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 Craig Zinn. Craig Zinn's just there. there. Yeah, just sitting there with an FTP hoodie on, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a legendary podcast. I mean, I mean fuck Adam Twenty Two for the most part, but he is right. That legend, that podcast is gonna go down in history. Like, I mean, I've been, I've been getting all right about Adam Twenty Two again. I mean, all right. I check his. I, I mean, I'm a fan still. I check his content just because I want to know what's up. I just lurk, so I mean, yeah. I don't really have a, a, a real robust opinion about him either like, way. Say, say, say about a month ago, I was pretty pissed at him, and I would yeah. say, shave that peep tattoo off your head, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm over it now. The peep tattoo is kind of cool. Yeah, I, I agree. It's just kind of weird, but I don't know. I don't know. X just just underground legend he'll, he'll, he'll go down people don't understand it right now he'll go down as one of the most influential artists of this generation mm-hmm. without a doubt oh yeah 1000 percent. yeah people don't get it yet. and and so will peep him, but oh yeah that's one of our things. uh long live peep and long live x they're yeah. the, the greats yeah. i hate i hate uh that meme of like all the dead memes up in the sky but um yeah. I saw I saw a picture of it yesterday and it was like no none of the memes were in the sky it was just peeping X and they were walking up to meet Fredo and like Fredo was like what's good and it just made me really happy yeah, Fredo 
is dope. Yeah, rest long yeah. live. Not rest in peace. Long live Fredo Santana, dude. He's uh, a fucking inspiration. Long live Young King Dave. Long <laughs> live Young King Dave. Long live Jimmy Wapo. I'm not too familiar with his music, but yeah. goddamn, another black youth killed. That doesn't fucking deserve to happen. Nobody deserves to be shot and killed. Like uh, like Joe Budden was talking in the video. Yeah, we'll, we'll be linked, of course. Um, he said, which it's just crazy to think about. He's like. There's never been two rappers killed in one day like this. Murdered. Oh well, yeah, just straight up murdered. Like it's something crazy. Yeah. Right. Unbelievable. Um. So like, Magal and Sam, what's your favorite X song or few? If you can't just pick one. Rip Roach, hands down. Like Rip Roach is way up there. Like, like. My two favorites, right, right, right in between each other. Like I spoke to the devil in Miami. He said everything would be fine, or maybe he said everything would be okay. But that song is up there with mine as well. Then, I will retort that. Yeah, like, like wild ass song. Like very good. Like so different. Yeah, Name somebody so, else who's doing like, shit like that. And then I don't want to do this anymore. Fire. Love it. Um, what I love is like newer. I love uh, like I, I really love that whole. Question mark album. The whole album, the whole question mark I like album is pain amazing. Pain equals best friend. Yeah. yeah. I really like uh, Infinity, the oh, Joey Badass. Yeah, those, yeah. Like that one's just bars. I I really really like the last track before I close my eyes. And that one, sure. and then schizophrenia. Oh, schizophrenia. oh, schizophrenia is a banger. Yeah. Nobody's doing punk shit like that. Yeah, it's, it's honestly the most interesting track. Well, so, some of my favorites. Are, oh, uh, are you done? Okay, my bad, my bad. Some of my favorites are uh, Sauce. I don't know if you guys heard that one. It's like kind of like a newer one. I don't know. I, I just like it. Sauce is really good. Um, I Spoke to the Devil in Miami. He said everything would be fine. That's a fucking smash hit. I, me and Sam were listening to that on the way here in the car, and I was getting fucking a little teary. Um, I really like... These are kind of all like mainstream dumb picks, but like numb. Oh, yeah. It's so hard. And, like, uh, Going Down's hard, too. I really like Going Down. Oh, and me and Sam were talking about this, too. I really, really like uh, Floor 555. Oh, yeah. fuck, yeah. Like, hard. Forgot about that one. Yeah. Hard. Like, yeah. You literally feel like you're in an elevator. Going like, falling, <laughs> falling down. No, like, motor. Like, you're just free falling in an elevator. Ugh. Um, this one's. Just as hard as four five five. It's, it's a really old one. It obviously might be like twenty sixteen, twenty fifteen. It's called like Xanax. Oh yeah, that's a it's banger. Like, I put bricks on a bitch, thirty Xan. <laughs> 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 oh shit! You, you've never heard that one. Like, I mean, that's fine, but give so, it a listen. Some nice Christian music. Um. <laughs> uh, another one of my favorites is. Save me. Yeah. I really, really like Save that. Save me. You know what that reminds me of? What? What does it remind you of, Maggle? What, like, what do you think it sounds like? Kind of like, what, like, what do you think it's, like, influenced by? Honestly, it's been a while since I've heard Save Me. So. You've been saying everything's influenced by Blink. Mm, kind of. But, what, what do you think, Mac? Or, or uh, Sam? In my opinion, oh shit, I'm not trying to play it. Um, in my opinion, it sounds like, like Pink Floyd. Kind of like Pink Floyd. I get Pink Floyd vibes from it. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. That's what you been saying. You been saying everything's influenced by Blink and Pink Floyd lately. I was like, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it's true. It's true. Blink has influenced the pop, uh, pop punk scene, and Pink Floyd's just Pink Floyd. They're just legends. Pink, you you want to get me talking about Pink Floyd? They're my fucking favorite band of all time. But anyway, uh, other X songs I like, um, the hard ones, the har- all the hard ones. <laughs> there's like like there's so many like hard songs that like like you just have to go into deep depths. Of Sipping tea in your hood, Sipping oh, tea in your yeah. hood is hard. Uh oh my god, the first X song I ever heard was in an AMV, an anime music <laughs> video, of like this bullshit with Naruto but it was um run up on me and it was a snippet 
just a snippet. It's, I don't I don't think it was ever finished. But dude, hardest song, hardest shit. Like, is it is a really un, unknown one that just you know this is crazy crazy hard. It's called Suicide Pit. That's, that's a good one. I think I've heard that. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's oh, 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 um, Riot, Riot is a really good song, uh, do you know what that song is? It's that song when, in, when, in the XXX, like, video for Look At Me, the Look At Me video, and it, like, cuts, and he's, like, hung, you ever seen a hung with a gold chain, like, uh, like, rapping while he's, you know, torn up, or, like, not torn up, tying up, you know what I'm talking about? It's that song that plays in there. It's, uh, like, kind of sad to think about that song, because of what happened last night. Yeah. How they how they rioted at, on Melrose? Yeah. Because that song "Riot" is about X not liking the idea of, of rioting. Yeah. And that's just what happened last night at his memorial. So. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, I, not everyone, but, not everyone at his memorial yeah, yeah, no, was being disrespectful and rioting, but talk. there were definitely a lot. We can talk about his song forever. But of course. We of course. Wrap up. Of course. Yeah. Rip X. Yeah. Love him. Long live Un- X. Legend. I got him on. I got him on me forever. Don't Remembers forget, only. but VR. forgive. And yeah. don't, don't forget, but that. definitely forgive. People are always people. You can't just observe their flaws and, and then don't say that they don't deserve to be mourned. Don't hold prejudice. I mean, share love. Deserves rest and death. Everyone. Members only forever. Members only forever. X forever. Moving forward, a classic segment. It's the Magmore story of the day. Magmore. And here he is. Magmore, Magmore. Right, I got a spooky one for y'all. Uh, sh- I've, I've already heard this, and it about made me uh, trickle shit down my leg. So. Never heard it. But Andy's too. hyping it up, but it was spooky nonetheless. It was a, a summer evening. Uh, at the time, I was driving home, and it was, like, raining really intense. You know, like, that monsoon oh, shit. Man. Like, it's dumping rain. And, uh... I take this road usually to go home and it cuts right past the cemetery. Well, just before that, there's like this like lawn area and uh, on the lawn, I saw what to be or what I thought it was like a woman. She was just laying there, right? Uh And uh, and then there was this guy like kind of like, I don't want to say like standing over her, but like he was like on all fours and just kind of like, he wasn't like real close to her either. He was just kind of like over her, right, on all fours. But like it didn't look. I from my like the brief moment as I was driving past, it didn't look like anything was happening. But I mean, I wasn't gonna stop for that shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, uh, but right, like, what's going on there? Like, isn't that insane? What do you think was happening? Like, I don't know if there was some kind of like. She was, like, having some kind of, like, episode or something where, like, he was trying to give her, like, medical attention, maybe, or... It, it's or, just weird they'd be right there, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, in, like, a fucking tsunami. Yeah, <laughs> really, it's raining outside, like, they couldn't keep that shit contained indoors. What the fuck? Am I a bad person for not stopping? No, 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 no. That's because that that that's when it turns into a horror movie, and the guy standing over that girl turns and looks at you, and dead runs at you, and he has a fucking knife. He's fucking mag though. I know, but I have a Dodge Charger. I'm brave. I have a Dodge Charger. I'm a very brave. The horror movie's gonna end quick because Mag Moore's. Shout out to the troops. Uh. Shout out to the know, troops, Dodge it, Chargers. It makes me wonder, though. Yeah. But that's that's the very quick story. It's very spooky. Very spooky. Yeah, so that was the Angmore story of the day. But rolling right into our next topic here, right? Canada's got the gas pack, right? The They're the first, like, G7, like, uh, nation to fully uh, legalize marijuana for medical and uh, recreational use. Really? Yeah. They finally did. Yeah, they they hooked up the gas pack. They're not smoking on mid anymore. <laughs> That's high quality. They're smoking on gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, sh- fucking kudos to them. I bet their crime rate is going to go down. I bet their fucking... Their economy. 
I bet their economy <laughs> yeah. is gonna skyrocket. Good for them, dude. I'm I'm gonna make my way up to Canada. Hey, maybe, maybe that will influence Trump boy. He he likes cash. <laughs> What's his name? Justin Trudeau. The third yeah. Prime mm-hmm. Minister. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to him. Shout yeah, out to him. He did it. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, like, why can't people see that it's a really good like like all I'm saying is like, people want to talk about deforestation. All we need trees to breathe. Like, trees don't need us. We need them. It, and that's true. Like, I fully support that. Like I saw this I, report I, that, like, 65% of Americans think it's morally acceptable and okay to smoke marijuana. Yeah. So, I mean, it's more it's, it's more than yeah, half. Yeah, more than half. Not by much, but, I mean, 15%. 15%. And, I mean, some of them, you know, that number. The, the, know, yeah, that can higher. fluctuate. Yeah. I mean, right. Some people would just be like. Yeah, it just really depends on how many people they vote and where they choose to the, have that research right. done. Yeah, and some people just keep quiet about it. So maybe yeah, maybe, you know. right. But Cards close to the chest. Let's get it back to Canada and all, you know. I could, like, I could never see the United States, like, like just, just, just federally legalized, you know. Like, I, like, you know, I just see the states, you know, one, one by one. Well, one. see, I, I see federal legality as like a not so far off in the future thing yeah like, i don't think it's far off but i mean i can't imagine it yeah, i can't yeah, fucking like, them i cannot fucking imagine it dude i mean it's, gonna, it's rapidly moving in that direction it's gonna but, be wild but like i'm here for it obviously but like it's just a matter of when yeah i mean it's just a matter of when we can get everybody to get off their bullshit and realize hey We gotta do is we gotta get rid of big pharma. If we can do that, <laughs> then we're in. We gotta get rid of big pharma, dude. Did you know that you're on if you're on high dosages of high quality SSRIs and you're in a shootout, you can uh, go third person and pan the camera around and mark targets like you're in Splinter Cell. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no, I don't know. That's just some funny shit I thought of the other day. But on, onto a onto a real note from that. Onto a real note from that. SSRIs, pain pills, and and basically any other medication. SSRIs. S so I, uh, like Zoloft, like Zoloft. Xanax, like oh, okay. depression so and like anxiety and I te- yeah shit like that. All of those pills, in my opinion. How like I don't know the statistic, but like, how many Americans are on those? A lot. A lot. A whopping amount. Yeah. Do you like, know what I think that is? Uh, mass control. I think it's mass control. I think people don't realize that, but I think it's mass control. I mean, I don't know if it's like I mean it, control in in one sense where you're always kind of like taking their money, so they're kind of just remaining in that state. But, uh, yeah, like, they knowingly give them that, like, whatever it is, and it being addictive, and they they know that probably, but they they just want to continue to get their money, and exactly. they're okay with that. And they're okay with that, because uh, they don't see the other side. Because that's the big. American Dude, dream. They want to, you want to talk about the MS-13, you want to talk about the cartel, all that, dude. Big Pharma fucks up more people's lives than anybody. Anybody. Yeah, like opiates have anybody gone rampant, and I mean, I think people are kind of seeing the picture now because I mean it's in the oh, mainstream yeah. kind yeah. of I would say now or getting yeah, yeah, to, yeah. but uh, yeah, we can only hope for big pharma swift end. <laughs> yeah, the the get the guillotine out. And Let's just replace every CVS and Walgreens in the United States with dispensaries yeah <laughs> a, a big idea <laughs> like just in the back like where they keep like the pills and shit that's like the like where that's where they keep the weed right and it, it, they're normal and, but then like and then it's just cvs and, norm, and shit yeah a normal front. ass store like you can go in and get groceries whatever or you could go back there and be like hey i have my pres- can i have my, can i get my prescription and it's fucking the gas pack i will say this cvs and walgreens they are nice stores to go to because they're basically grocery stores that nobody goes to. Yeah. Hard body. You just get in. You get out. Mm-hmm. Um, 
there's a Walgreens right next to AutoZone, and like from time to time, like someone just like like if the store's really slow, we just like run over there, pick up the bag, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you what do you get in the bag? Uh, I've gotten some monsters a few times. I've gotten some water, uh, gum. You get some I, no, I mean I'm smart I'm poor. Water. I'm poor and cheap. Smart water. So I just water. get I get like the I don't know whatever like the big shit is. It's just like this big ass jug. <laughs> big thirst. I'm on that smart water bullshit always. Uh, I don't know. Like the rest of the gang, they usually get like cigarettes and shit, but I'm not about that. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, uh, big conspiracy. However many percent of Americans that smoke, what percent of them do you think started smoking as an excuse to get a smoke break at their job? I mean, probably a staggering amount because Jacob told me this the other day. Uh, Jacob, friend of the show. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he works at McDonald's and he said not currently uh, like you get like one like like 45 minute break for lunch or whatever but if you smoke you get a 5 minute break before that and a 5 minute break after that so you just get a 55 minute break yeah and I mean that totally encourages people, people to, smoke. to smoke exactly Totally. Really, like, it's it's real fucked problem. up. Yeah, it's real fucked up when you think about it. But like, but let's say this, right? Your your smoke like in the future, smoke breaks turn into smoking gas breaks. See, now that's something I can get behind. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, now that's something I can one thousand percent get behind. Need to say, Canada's got the gas pack before the United States of America. Canada knows what they're doing. We lost the space race. The Russians beat us. We lost the gas race. Yeah, we basically, yeah, I mean, the gas race, the, the most important one of them all, really. <laughs> like, space? Lame, but, but gas? That's life changing to some people. It's life changing. I mean, to a lot of people. You ever see those videos of fucking kids having just terrible seizures and their mothers like come up and run rub like cbd oil on their foot like cbd lotion and they just like no but Ooh. like it's nothing i mean i know like in some like i know it's like helps people with seizures but i mean i don't know in what way they use it Do i mean just, is it a lotion like, I mean, I saw this thing. I saw this thing, and this lady like rolled this thing. And it looked like lotion like on this a, person's foot. Is it like foot. a paint roller? No, it's like a. I don't know. It looked like a. <laughs> it looked. <laughs> to be honest, it looked like a like a bingo daughter, with like a round edge, and she, oh, it was yeah, full of I shit. Have some like biofreeze. I don't know. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Biofreeze it has the same kind of top. Exactly. You just go shake it up real quick and then rub that shit all over you. Right. So it was the same thing and she fucking rubs it on his foot while he's having a seizure and he just almost, like it took like a second or two but then he just was good. I know Gucci. I've seen like videos of people who have like really bad Parkinson's mm -hmm. and uh, they like, I don't know, take a hit of the backwood and then they're just like, they just slowly just chill Normal. out. Yeah. You remember the EpiPen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn! I remember like jam that bitch. In the <laughs> I remember like it was such a a serious deal in like the elementary. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, he has an epipen. Oh, yeah. watch you know. Yeah. Watch out for him. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you had an epipen? No. Yeah, like, Who? I'm not a weakling. I'm not a weakling. <laughs> Who had an epipen? Our good uh, pal Alex Coon. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Isn't he like allergic to peanuts, but he like still eats them? I, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, in Alex, dude, you eat peanuts. In elementary, he always had that glass. Leave a comment. Pocket, and that was the epi pen. <laughs> yeah, much love for Alex Coon. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to roll in right into the next topic because you guys kind of brought it up. But space is about to not be lame anymore. Oh, yeah. With 
old Donald J. Trump's announcement of like the sixth military branch, Space Force. Doesn't that sound like a dope ass movie? Yeah, like it sounds Space so Force. cliche. Did you see the video? <laughs> did you see the video of him like announcing it? Yeah, I watched. It was in- so cheesy, and he's like, <laughs> he's, he's like, like, I would like to announce that I'm taking the time, or like, <laughs> or, or he's like, I would like for whoever it takes to put into play the steps to creating a sixth branch of the military to be the Space Force or whatever. It seems like a joke. It seems like a joke. It seems like a meme. Yeah, it's like, are we just all supposed to be like looking at Space Force while you're like wasting our tax dollars? While while you're almost getting impeached. Um, Weather Channel petition. We elect the Forge Master. (laughs) As the Master Chief of the Space Force. Yeah, uh, hands down. He would fucking protect our galaxy so hard. I don't see anybody... Uh, else that's fit for and, that job besides Charlie. His right hand man Winston from Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, Winston <laughs> will will help him out. Hi there. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the crazy thing, right? To be even like considered for base space on the force, moon. Like the base level is you got to be a fucking astronaut, yeah. dude. The base level, like, like I saw the picture of all the like the badges you can get in Space Force, like you know, like a uh, you're like mayor. I don't mayor badges. I don't know what the fuck they're called in, in fucking military, yeah. but those badges. And the <laughs> first one, the starting rank is astronaut, and I think it was like astronaut two, astronaut three, and then like something else. But like, damn, dude, astronaut, astronaut sergeant. <laughs> astronauts have to do a like, shit ton of training. Like astronauts. That's there's not a big number of astronauts in the world, right? There's some of those qualified people. There's about to be. They don't. They don't just you know. Yeah. They don't just throw anyone up there. Right. Yeah, really. So like. So who are they gonna find to just fill up this space force? It has to be full of like competent people. Yeah, and I mean, like the army already uses like a lot uh, of them. Well, like they already use like uh, like like IQ test for lack of a better term. And they like that's how they sort people. Half like, the people out. that take that test don't even pass, right? Yeah, that's the. It's Space like Force. where are they getting all the people? <laughs> so like, here's the thing. What if that test or whatever, like that test for the military has got to be way easier in like astronaut standards. So you, when you make the astronaut test or whatever, who the fuck's gonna pass that? Yeah, that that's the question. Here's the. Here's the thing to think about. They're gonna have like pulse rifles out there. So, like, what are they? Um. What are they coming to? You know. Yeah. yeah what are what, they gonna shoot in space? Maybe like some like rail guns. I don't know. Like, are they are they gonna put like some like dome fucking thing on top of the moon so we? Can... <laughs> I don't know. They're... Can you think of that though? A base on the moon. Oh my god. See, that sounds cool as fuck. Right. See, that's cool as fuck. But here's my thing. Tax dollars. Well. Not all the, well, I, I don't know, you gotta think of it, like, the military, the economy, and uh, just kind of, like, the government, they're, like, deeply interwoven, you know, like, like, a lot of, like, the economy is based off of, like, doing military contracts and such, yeah. like, Boeing and things like it, where they employ, like, locally, like, people in the United States, so you gotta think, well, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, making all these jobs or whatnot or potentially making all these jobs making all this shit Mm -hmm. and uh my thing is i'm looking at it from an environmental standpoint like like sending a this is launching a rocket into space already emits like a lot of uh the greenhouse gas or just just like now, put that on a scale of launching missions to, take... to the moon regularly because they need supplies to build this base. Yeah. Like, which, what kind of environmental damage are you going to be doing? Punching hole after hole <laughs> in the ozone, you know? The, the, there's already not enough damage to it. Like, this is on a side note, but another thing that I saw is, like, they think like which doesn't surprise me they think cigarettes are like much worse for like the environment than originally thought like like the smoke emitted from them makes up like a larger percent I of like damage fucking to you. which i mean it makes sense yeah, you know like it doesn't all the sense. and let's not even talk about like pollution 
what the fuck does everybody and their goddamn grandpa do when they're done smoking in their car? They flick that shit out the window. Where does that go? There's in a the higher yard, plastic in the woods. content in the ocean than there are fish in this in the ocean. I know. It's fucked up. <laughs> Might morph back to the day. <laughs> Have you ever seen that Vice special where they go to that uh like the big floating trash like island or like thing? the plastic mound that's supposed to be larger than Texas or whatever? Right, but it's not. Well, like it's it's like all like the plastic breaks down into like right. like the polymer or like the basic essence of plastic. Right. And then but once it breaks down it's actually much worse than oh, yeah. just solid plastic. It's because a fucking I mean it poison. gets in yeah, it just you, it becomes breathable then it's into the like the, the food or like the fish. Right. And I mean Dude, so the fish. Like, that that documentary, they go there and it's just this like it's where these few like currents meet and just yeah, bring it's just like one massive like all, whirlpool and bring of shit. all this fucking garbage in there, and it's disgusting. It's it's heartbreaking. Like, why can't people see that our world is like breaking, breaking? It's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. People will eventually understand, but, but when people it'll understand, it's gonna be so at late. The, uh, at the rate that we're going, it's, it's going to be, be way late. too late. And I mean, for sure, people right now don't realize that they're just like, oh, it's, it's too hot right now. What the, oh, we got the winter still. So, I mean, where's global warming at? It, what people don't realize is global warming is a, like, a, you're like taking the wo- normal ro- water cycle and like timesing it by like a thousand, like each right. time. So right now it doesn't seem that significant, but. It just Soon gets worse it will be. Yeah. and worse and worse. And then year eventually after year, you, there's just... Hey, Bones said it. Summer's, uh, uh, winter's getting colder. Every summer's getting hotter. It's true. Yeah. And it's because of global... Wait, how the fuck could it be getting colder each winter if it's global warming? <laughs> because it's fucking cycles and it's throwing off the cycle of the ecosystem. It's climate change. It's climate change. Thank you. People to say global warming yeah it's climate it's climate change is the you know that's the enemy yeah oh global i'm mr miller is the cause. i'm mr yeah. miller climate change isn't real that's a myth it's propaganda told to you by scientists to keep you under wraps can't alan miller we love you man but you're <laughs> yeah dude you're get out like maybe when you're in alaska you'll realize something yeah, i don't know maybe have a true. vision i don't know man. <laughs> Yeah, nothing but respect, but goddamn. Yeah. (laughs) Final topic here of this of the of the podcast here today. Or this evening. Or wherever the hell you're listening. This it's good music season, right? Surgical summer begins. June twenty eighteen will be good music season, right? Yeah. Uh we'll go down in the books. Let's talk about it. Let's talk if you don't know what it is. In order, yeah. in order, yeah. we first we got the Pusha T album. Yeah, Pusha we knew that T was gonna happen. Bars. Pusha T drops Daytona, amazing, fucking dropping bars. Shit's hard. I love it. I love every song on there. Then we have the infrared song, the last song on it. That's that diss track to uh, Drake. And that and that starts Surgical <coughs> Summer Volume One. <coughs> and then <coughs> Drake's. Drake. Re- <laughs> uh, Drake dropped this weak ass Duffy Freestyle. Duffy Freestyle, which I've never even listened to, but that was a bit lame, lame, what lame. what enticed the murder of Drake, the Surgical Summer, was the mention of Pusha T's fiance in that song. He just, so he just mentioned her name. Just mentioned her name, Pusha and Pusha T was like, "Hmm, I have all this information." Let me write a song about how you're a deadbeat father. Don't take care of your baby mama. Your dad's a clown. Your mom never had a good relationship. And uh, you don't write your own bars. Bye. And uh, I, I, I can't think of the last time anybody's done some wild-ass rap beef, like shit like that. That's amazing. Especially at Drake. Especially at Drake. It's incredible. Somebody yeah. who's, somebody who's shot across years, the bow and- years like, beyond his expiration date. Years beyond his expiration date. I was thinking about earlier today. This has nothing to do with good music season. What How is Drake we, still relevant? When is everyone gonna get tired of this guy? Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> he is, he's, he's so boring. He's he so far past his expiration date. <laughs> it's crazy. 
crazy. It's crazy. Like, but not... anyway, so Daytona comes out, Infrared comes out, Duffy Freestyle, Drake kills him on Story of Adam. Everyone's Adidon. happy. Every just the push of tea. Bro. Everyone's happy, happy <laughs> with oh, just yo, the push. Forty hunched over like he ate. Hell yes, that's a crazy bar. Yeah, so everyone's happy with the whole fucking thing. Push T, yes. Then, yeah. June seventh, week two, we get EA, the fucking most incredible piece of music I've probably yeah. heard in, I don't know, my whole life. Well, here's what I would say, right? <laughs> I know Andy doesn't quite agree with me here, but well, I like week four's piece just a little better. Um. So, but the Ye, I love Ye so much. the Yay album, man! Oh my God! All the features—they're like all, almost all unlabeled, yeah, un, really all good. like unaccredited, but all of the features: dude, Party Next Door, Ty Doll Sign, O Seven O Shake, Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi all of them that. fucking kill yeah. it, dude. So like that album, and everyone knows that album's amazing. All like, seven I tracks of it. I thought about killing you. Oh, I was... thought about killing you. Is a crazy way to start the album. Then you get Yikes. Yikes is a fucking amazing song to set the tone for like Kanye coming back and like leaving what I would call old Kanye now in the past. You know. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just, it's just really amazing, like a really amazing seven piece of like seven piece track piece of art. I, it's a yeah. I mean, it blew me away. Like, the seven songs were masterpieces. Like the only All of them. upsetting part Start about it, there wasn't there wasn't more. Right. But I yeah. mean, it didn't need to be. It longer. didn't need to be more. There didn't need to be more. It was exactly what it needed to be. And I'm glad that you get that. Like I'm glad that you realize that. It was an, uh, an immensely enjoyable 25 minutes. Fuck yeah. yes, it was. And that's a that's a thing that that I think it's going to become a trend now again. I think it's going to become a trend now again, right? Is shorter projects. Because w- w- what's been going on lately, I'll, I'll use the fucking Ray Shrimmit as an example. Swaycation, yeah. well, Slim Jimmy, three, all of them. 20, 25, 30 Almost tracks. 30 tracks. And just like, it, it, it could have been, it could have been six tracks. Because that was probably one of the good ones on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like, this phenomena of people like, oh, well, like Cardi B's album. Cardi B's album has like I don't know correct me if I'm wrong I don't know about fucking Cardi B I'm pretty sure it has like 18 songs on it like, I can't do it's like an, songs. it's like an hour and 10 minutes long like like okay we get it you're a rapper but like wouldn't doesn't it make more sense to be like here's an EP with like 5 songs that are all fire so that, that they're you leave them wanting more like but it's just all stream chasing. It's stream chasing. They're like, oh, if I have a bunch of songs, yeah. then everybody's gonna listen to the whole album, so I'll get more money. Yeah, but but say you say you drop a, you know, a seven song album or maybe a six song EP like uh, the weekend. Yeah. People are gonna listen to those six or seven, you know, uh, immensely, songs. immensely, yeah. just on repeat. You know, and, and it's only gonna be 20, 30 minutes of their time. Exactly. Instead of having to like, all right, I got to sit down. It's time for my half hour trip at fucking Swaycation. Jesus Christ, hours, this, uh, this album's like an hour and a half long. You know what uh, Anthony Fantano gave sake of a uh, Because he, since it's a three disc track, right? He, he did each disc and then he gave it an overall. You know what he gave Swaycation? What? One out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Our boy Anthony always gunning them down when yeah. they need to be gunned down. <laughs> um. Okay, but let's back on the Kanye. So yeah. week three the is world has yeah, the world has push a T and yay. Yeah, the world has push a T and yay. Fucking amazing. Everyone's freaking out. You know, June surgical summer, good shit. And then we get kids see ghosts. No one. I when like, when it when, when I found out about it, I was not expecting it to be anything like it was. Mm-hmm. Original album art drawn by Takashi Murakami fucking fashion icon super cool guy fucking hangs out with like Virgil Abloh and the guys who make like Louis Vuitton shit he's really really cool designs this original album art for it it's just amazing all seven tracks dude so diverse there are fucking wailing guitar tracks on there where they sound like they're standing on the top of mountain like I'm free you know that song oh yeah dude they sound like they're standing on the top of the mountains in a fucking storm as gods, I feel free. I love it, dude. Yeah, like, I really amazing. The ma- guitar. Here's the thing. 
I love it, and I don't usually go off of Anthony Fantano's opinion because you know he he really did dislikes my boy Peep, and nobody dislikes my boy Peep. That's that's Peep. But he gave Kids See Ghosts a ten out of ten. Yeah, only his fourth ten ever. A ten out of ten. So my question is, like, Kids See Ghosts are is that like their is that like a group now? Yeah, it's a group, group now. Group? Yeah. That's Cuddy. Connie, yeah, Kanye and Cuddy. Isn't that dope? Yeah, that's that's banging. That's badass. Like, let's talk about how on Kids He Goes and uh, Feel the Love, right? Kanye's verse is this. Ba da da da! Ba da da da! Just for like a good 30, 40 seconds. It's hard. It's incredible. Like, and it's hard. It. Dude, <laughs> what, I, what I wanted to say, I was going to say this to you earlier, but I had forgot. Um, okay, so do you know Speed and Bullet to Heaven? That Cuddy album. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, on on Fantano's channel, right? Cuddy, Speedy Bolt, Speedy Bolt Heaven, his last album, Cuddy's last album, was a zero on Fantano's channel. A so zero. He went from zero to hero. Right. <laughs> right yeah. Like listen, listen though. I think it's a culmination of Kid Cuddy with an idea like he had on, um, you know, Speed and Bolt to Heaven. What he wanted to do, something more alternative, you know, a longer alternative sound. But he didn't have the skills to, like, flesh that out, I imagine, on his own. I don't know, like, a lot of the credits to the album. I don't know who helped, like, mix, master, or whatever. But then you'd bring Kanye's prowess and his uh, production fucking wizardry into the mix. And, dude, it's it, uh, so good. Fourth Dimension, that song is so good. That like sample of the that like old timey like barbershop quartet dude is so good. It ah uh, like ah uh, my favorite track off of Kitsy Ghost is Cuddy Montage. Mm -hmm. I think you guys know that because Kanye ta touches on some really 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 good points on it, and I fucking love it. Um, something a good friend of ours said on Twitter, which I mean I agree with. He said Kanye probably the best producer of all time. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I so would hand, uh, hands down. Uh, our boy Dylan. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Straight up. For sure. Another friend of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. A hard body. Yeah, man. Uh, Kanye West, like, you ever see those videos of him, like, uh, I can't remember what it was at. I think it was, like, MTV, but it was, like, open poetry. And he's literally rapping the bars to Gold Digger, just, like, as poetry. And it's so hilarious. No, I have not seen it. It's amazing. Um... But, like, Kanye went from, like, being embarrassed to, uh, you know, rap and shit and just being in the producer background. And then he rapped for Jane Cam, you know. I remember rapping for Jane Cam, young producer just trying to get his flows off. And, you know, Jay fucking saw it. And, like, I don't know, dude. I just think that Kanye wouldn't – like, Kanye's here for a reason, obviously. But, like, there's never – ever gonna be anybody like anybody like Kanye again like I mean yeah he is a all the album listening character. parties and shit like all that's all super original all the original merch for it and shit like nobody does that like dope about the album listening parties how did Adam 22 get invited to the how did Adam 22 get invited to uh, all I of them saw, I watched up to the part where the, his girlfriend's is like Asking two chains what was his dog's name? <laughs> <laughs> it was dumb as shit. Like she's like, "What's the dog's name? What's the dog's like, name?" I was I, I was so mad about this. This is, this is hilarious. Um, two chains had a series with GQ. If you're familiar, with that is most expensive yeah. shit. And he would bring his dog every every, every time. And he would always say, "That's Trappy." That was his name. It's That's Trappy. Name. And he would he'd be so proud of Trappy. But Lena the plug, which I I don't like her at all. At all. Um, I second that. Girlfriend, she would ask, and Two Chain just wouldn't answer. Like he he wouldn't even look at her. <laughs> <laughs> like if you don't know that's Trappy, you don't need to know. Hi, Trappy. Well said. Well said. Yeah. We never um, got into week four. Okay. Yeah. 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 But here's the big kicker. The big kicker. This one's still sitting fresh with us. Week four, Nasir, the Nas album. Mm -hmm. Dude, fucking incredible. Yeah, fucking incredible. It's so hard to pick a top because it goes for me, uh, 
Ye and Nasir on the same level, and then Kid C Ghost, and then Daytona. But I it's it's even hard to put Daytona in last place because I fucking love it so much. But like Nasir, let's talk about Nasir. I don't know. The one that really <laughs> summed it up for me was everything. Yeah. Everything. Like, that track is amazing. Like it's just, just not beautiful. Spin. And then Kanye comes in like every after every verse with the. If hook, I had everything, it's, it's, it's just so soft. It's just so nice. Everything, I could change everything. It's so good. Okay, I don't know if you guys like this song as much as I do. You probably do, but I fucking fanboy over Slick Rick. Yeah, so when I heard Cop, cop Shot the Kid, shot the kid <laughs> I was screaming, dude. That sample, Cop Shot the Kid, the Cop Shot. Yeah. It's the whole beat. That's some hard ass shit and all the bars on there speak to that. Like, fucking Kanye. Oh my God, all his bars about it. You know, so, ah! We get so into the Slick Rick part, but we forget that there's a Richard Pryor sample <laughs> right at the beginning. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the important sample. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. That's cool. That's incredible to me, yeah. Uh, something I find interesting about Kanye is that he samples, like, a lot of singing or, like, a lot of human vocals for his rap. Ba- yeah, like, he, at least, like, a lot of, like, he made tracks. Video, I would say. He, uh, his, his favorite instrument, he, he, I think, I feel like I've heard him say before his favorite instrument is a human voice. Yeah. I mean, he's been, he's been doing it for, like, a long time now, but something during this good music season, he really likes sampling like this like 1930s 1940s yeah yeah music. oh yeah it's so cool yeah hard it's body hard body like oh what's the one on um uh what's the one on a uh, white label white label on nasir it's like this crazy ass like it's like a it comes in every once in a while it's like and then it's like stops but then at this one point on like this like beat break there's like these horns and these like saxes, but yeah. it's like real old and it's just like, and that shit's so crazy. White Label's got the craziest beat. Yeah. The whole album, I would say. After my morning walk, Havana cigar, the ganja spark. That was my favorite <laughs> line on the album. Yeah, like, like see, I would, I would personally just put Nas's album just a bit over Yay. Like, see, for me, it goes Nas, Yay. Daytona then Kid Sea Ghost like and I, I absolutely love all of them so like putting Kid Sea Ghost in last doesn't mean I don't like it all of these last place picks are because they have to be in last place mm-hmm. because they're even though they're fucking amazing we have to pick the other amazing ones <laughs> Maggle what's your oh let's see I, I really enjoyed Ye and then it would probably go uh shit it's so hard, yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed most of everything off of every album. So, exactly. I mean, it's pretty arbitrary where I would right. put things. Like, yeah, I mean, not a, every, it's a participation award. Everyone showed up and performed greatly. Very greatly, yeah. <laughs> I don't know really any Tiana Taylor. But I'm excited for her album. But I mean, Kanye's going to produce it. So yeah, I'm going to so listen. Get excited. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we mentioned that for anyone that maybe not know. Yeah, week Kanye five. Kanye produced all these albums. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kanye produced every single one of the four albums like, we're talking about. Talk about a hustle. Dude, and and he changed uh, Ye. He changed Ye the day it came out. He changed Ghost Nas. Town wasn't supposed to be on it. Yeah, Violent Nas Crimes too. wasn't supposed to be on it. And he changed Nas's too. Yeah. Shit. He was a hard worker working down the fucking last minute. You know how he made the album art for Ye? They were on their way to the album listening party. He took a picture of a mountain in Wyoming and drew that on it himself on his phone. And that's the album. <laughs> I was going to say, it just looks like, I knew it looked like just some Wyoming shit. But, but for Pusha T's album, he spent like $80,000 or something for that picture of a Whitney Houston bathroom. Which is hard. But for his, he's just like, fuck it. Because <laughs> he didn't know what it was going to be until, you know, he was just like, fuck it. But let's talk about the writing on the Yay album. I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. But you know what that you know what I think that is? I think that's him realizing like people think there's an old yay and a new yay, you know? Like people think there's like, oh I miss the old Kanye. It's an extension of that. Like he he can be the old Kanye anytime he wants. You see it in the production, you see it I in mean, the raps, you see it. He's Kanye. He's Kanye. He's there's and he more. like there is no new Kanye either. He's Kanye as well. So that's why I think he just 
summed up the whole album as yay. And I, I, I think it's just awesome. I think it all ties yeah, together. I think it's nice, fucking amazing. Yeah, I agree with you, Andy. That's a very nice point. I think it's super amazing. Good music. Shout out yeah. to good music. Taking never over. Forget. Getting out our dreams. Never forget June 2018. Yeah, yeah never <laughs> forget June 2018. Long live X. The month Kanye dropped the bombs. <laughs> Along with his friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be this week's podcast. Or, uh, just a little intro episode. Uh, we'll it's try, to, try to do it on the regular Yeah, one. we need to get it back on our shit. Yeah, we'll, but, I'll get him to be back on their shit. But my man, Mag Moore. Yeah, he has some final has words. A today, so yeah, a little, a little uh, weather channel live stream. Uh I went live for like 30 minutes on YouTube. I don't know if anybody else saw it. Who gives a fuck? But I'll be trying to uh, do it a little bit more, getting a little bit better production on it. Uh, right now, it's mainly just me because I'm I'm live streaming from my computer. But hopefully, I can get Sam over here. And we can do some games together. I but mean, uh, you can always try to stream Overwatch. Which I mean, it, I don't know. Like possible. I don't get in the technicals right here right now. But yeah. uh. I just want to let the people know it's underway. Yeah. Where yes, hopefully you'll see maybe Maggle play some shit with Sam. Yeah, and uh, he likes some games and shit. I mean, I mean, personally, we, we wanted to make gaming videos, but after after like doing it, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think live stream is the way to go. But yeah, but the people are informed, and that is the end of the podcast. Uh, Thank you for I'll having me toodaloo, on. And until next time, Space Cowboys. Yeehaw. <laughs> so now, where do you guys stand? Like, what's good now? I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. As oh. A, as, a, as a, no, I'm keeping a blood roll. I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. Like, I think he, he's a, he's not a man. I think he's a, a bitch. That's a bitch move.